Bonsuelo Mathletes, start of a new chapter. This is going to be great. We're going to talk about exponential equations. But you know what? There's going to be something you have never seen before called logarithms. And we're going to deal with logarithms and exponents. First exponents, because you have to understand those first. And then we'll eventually get to the beauty of logarithms. Okay, so today we're going to talk about exponential equations. But the first thing, as always, you want to know, when do you do what it is I'm about to show you? In other words, what makes an exponential equation? It's not just an equation that has an exponent. Okay, notice, all three of these equations are equations, they have variables, they have exponents, but only one is an exponential equation. And it's this one right here. Why? Because when you want to determine what type of equation you have, you always look at where the variable is. And if the variable's in the exponent, it's an exponential equation. So x equals 3 squared is a linear equation. x cubed equals 2 is a polynomial of degree 3. Only 3 to the x equals 2 is an exponential equation. Why? Because the variable's in the exponent. Okay, remember there are two things you can do with an exponent, I mean with a, an equation. You can either graph or solve. We're going to do the graphs today. We'll solve next time. Okay, for an exponential function, this is how it's going to graph. It's going to look like one of these two things. It's, everyone is going to have the same three points, 0, 1, 1, a, and negative 1, 1 over a. And you'd say, well, how can that be? Since one kind of swoops up and the other one swoops down, the difference is this. If the base, remember what we're talking about here is y equals a to the x, where a is the base, okay? If the base is greater than one, then it's gonna go up. If the base is between zero and one, the base is gonna go down. The base can never be negative zero or one, just so you know. Okay. So again, that's all the states. So example, f of x equals 7 thirds to the x. 7 thirds is larger than 1, so it curves up. g of x equals 3 sevenths to the x. The base is 3 sevenths, which is between 0 and 1, so it curves down. OK, remember, you have to do all the reflect, shift, compress, et cetera, that we've done before. Remember, the two questions you want to ask, is it with the x or the y? And then second, do you do what it says or the opposite of what it says? Okay, so for example, uh, this equation, the uh, basic equation is y equals one-fifth to the x, the two. I can put it over on the same side of the equation as the y. So it's with the y. Since it's on the opposite side of the equation, we do exactly what it says, and I shift up two. By the way, I should mention, um, for Alex, they're going to require you to have two extra points, okay? And uh, you'll, I think you can see it here. Um, so the points I'm requiring you to have are 0, 1, 1, a, and negative 1, 1 over a. But Alex is going to require you to have two additional points, and that's going to be 2, comma, a squared and negative 2, comma, 1 over a squared. Okay? So, uh, and I want to remind you, it's better when you type in, when you put points on Alex to type them in. Don't try and, like, you do it with your finger. It's really going to cause you grief. Okay, so this is going to be an exponential function with uh, shifted up 2. All right, so what do we have? We have the points 0, comma, 1, 1, comma, a, and negative 1 comma 1 over a, where a is 1 fifth. So we'll plot those points first. Those are these, and that's the dash graph. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take all of those and shift them up to. And I want to note, you have to shift the horizontal asymptote up to also. Okay, because this has a horizontal asymptote, not a vertical asymptote. Okay, uh, I'm going to introduce you to a new number. That new number is E. It's kind of like pi. Pi is a, is a Greek letter. It's a letter. It's just a Greek letter that uh, represents a number, 3.14159. E is a letter, and it represents the number 
and dot, dot, dot. It just keeps going, just like E does, just like Pi does. You just have to memorize it. Okay, when you type it in to Alex, type in E though, okay? When you do it on paper, just use 2.7. All right, so we have f of x equals e to the x, so that's got the points 0 comma 1, 1 comma e, and negative 1 comma 1 over e. Again, Alex, you'll put these two in. But uh, for me, just use 2.7. So we have 0 comma 1, 1 comma 2.7, and roughly 1 over negative 1 comma 1 over 2.7 is roughly 1 third, and then draw the graph. Okay. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to graph these three points, 0 comma 1, 1 comma a, and 1 comma 1 over a. And if it's on Alex, you have to do these two additional points. Okay? So for example, uh, 3 to the x, you have those three points. Alex will require those extra ones. You plot them and you draw the graph. For the second example, you have 0 comma 1, 1 comma 1 fourth, and negative 1 comma 4, because 1 over 1 fourth is 4. And then you plot them and draw the graph. And remember, it's got a horizontal asymptote unless it, that's always on the x-axis unless it's shifted. And then you have to shift it. If it's shifted vertically, you have to shift the asymptote. Okay. Now, you have to be careful about the way you read these. Okay. So again, if um, for the first one, I can't move the 1 over to the side of the y, so it's with the x. Since it's actually written with the x, I do the opposite of what, what it says, so I shift 1 left. On number 2, I can move the 1 over with the y. So it's with the y since it's on the opposite side of the equation. I do exactly what it says, and I shift up 1. Okay, for number 3, first of all, you can't multiply the 3 and the 2. You have to keep them separate. And um, so what we're going to do is graph y equals 2 to the x and then multiply y by 3. Because I can move the 3 over to the other side of the equation, so it's with the y. And since it's not, since it's on the opposite side of the equation is the y, I do exactly what it says. So multiply y by 3. Okay. m of x equals negative 2 to the x power. That's not possible because you can't have a negative base on an exponential function. And I'm not going into the theory why, I'm just telling you. r to the x equals negative 2 to the x. Notice the base is not negative 2. The base is 2, and then y would be multiplied by negative 1. So what you do is you'd multiply y by negative 1. That's just how to read the equation, okay? All right, so let's take a look at some examples to go through. Okay, I have no idea what that weird orange line is through the middle of this thing, but anyway. Okay, so the base is... 5 halves, so we have 0 comma 1, 1 comma 5 halves, and negative 1 comma 2 fifths. Okay, so we plot 0 comma 1, 1 comma 2 and a half, and negative 1 comma 2 fifths, approximately that. And then draw the graph. Okay, here the base is one third, so we have zero comma one, one comma a third. So this is going to go down, and negative one comma three. And then I'm going to shift up one. Okay, so let's draw the basic graph first. Okay, so we have zero comma one, one comma one third and negative one comma three. So this is what the graph looks like before we shift it. But when we shift up one, I'm gonna shift the horizontal asymptote first, and then I'm gonna take these three points and go up one. So this point goes up here, zero comma one goes to zero comma two, and the one at negative one, sorry, at zero comma, at one comma one third, wish I could talk, Moves up one, and then we just draw it. And again, the asymptote is now at one. It's not at the x-axis anymore because it's been shifted up one. Okay. In this case, this is not an exponential function, 
right? Not everything that has an exponent and a variable, not every equation is an exponential function. This is simply a quadratic function. So you have to know what makes an equation that type of equation. So this you should have memorized. And it's just got these points. There's nothing new here. We've done this before. Maybe not for a while, but just want to point out not everything that has an exponent is an exponential function. That's a quadratic function. It graphs as a parabola. Okay, here, the basic equation is y equals 4 to the x. Okay, so we've got the point 0, 1, 1, 4, and negative 1, 1 fourth. And then we're going to go, since I can't move the 1 over to the side with the y, it's with the x. Since it's on the same side of the equation as the x, I do the opposite of what it appears to say. So I go left. One. Okay, so let's draw the basic graph. We have 0, 1, 1, 4, and negative 1, 1 fourth. So that's the basic graph right there. Now I'm going to take all of those and I'm going to go left, 1. Now, you don't need to shift the asymptote here because you take a horizontal line and shift it to the left. It doesn't move anywhere. So the point up at 1, 4, I'm going to move left 1. The point at 0, 1, I'm going to move left 1. And the point at negative 1, 1 fourth, I'm going to move left 1. And then again, just draw it as best you can. Okay. All right. That's the basic idea. If you have any questions on it, come and see me. Have a good day, everybody.